Hello everybody, welcome to this unboxing. Uh, this is from Japan actually, and I need to use manpower for this because today I'm gonna be unboxing a rare lot of eight keychains first. And um, here it is. Here is the bag. Here's a few postcards of what's in the bag. Farm. Nice postcard stamps. Uh, I don't know if they wrote up thank you or something. I can't really tell. And um, here this is. Uh, need to use a lot of power for this because I don't have the scissors again. So this is kind of like a sturdy boxing. Oh, I see the lock. I see it. I see it. Okay. Uh, a lot of packaging. I wish I just had the scissors on me. And oh, I don't. But here is a lot in all its glory. Voila. So here is a lot of keychain plushes. Oh, I'm so excited to dive into these. Okay, so let me get the bag. These are really neatly packaged. So let's start off with the Mega Mushroom. Here is the Mega Mushroom. It does not have a string. I don't see anywhere where it might have a string, but here it is. I think Sean's might be a bootleg because Tush Tank is tiny. This is 100% official. These are just keychains. I'm starting to think that Sean's is a, fit, a bootleg. I'm pretty sure that might be a bootleg now because this does not have a string and this one looks fairly better. So here it is. <laughs> and here is a spike top keychain. Oh, wow. I've been wanting to dig deep into this. I was not, I was expecting that there'd be a little tinier, but here it is, perfect size. And this is a spike top keychain. I'm very happy I got this lot because this is a pretty good deal. Here is its keychain and here is its tush tag. Of course, these are all keychains. I'm so excited because these ones are pretty, pretty nice. Now let's get into the SK Japan Baby Luigi plush. I was expecting that to be this height. Here is the Baby Luigi plush himself. The Baby Luigi pretty looks nice. Pretty much looks nice. Here is its tush tag by SK Japan. Here it is. Here's its tag. Let's open it up. All the info. It's like a beta keychain, like dog tags. And here you go. Here it is. I'm so happy with this one the most. It has a lot of detail. Perfect, perfect condition. So now let's get into the mushroom. Here is a tiny mushroom keychain. You can see it is also pretty good. I like the plastic on it. It looks fairly good. It is a perfect size <coughs> for a keychain. I I really in love with this one. This one is pretty good. Here's its tush tag. Like I said, I'm pretty sure Sean's Mega Mushroom is bootleg. Now that I look at a closer examine, and here is a hilarious, hilarious Goomba. This one looks pretty funny. So here it is in all its glory, plastic, of course, keychain. And we covered a lot of these in the plush set, or in the Bad Presto ones. And here's probably one of the best ones. Here is the star. This one says 2009. Uh, I'm pretty sure this might be Mario Kart Wii, so this might be the Mario Kart Wii star. Correct me if I'm wrong, because there's hardly any info on those ones. And here it is. This one's really, really fluffy. I love, I like this one. This one's like the perfect size for Mario as well. And now let's get into the Bad Presto Keychain Mario. This one's like the Keychain Mario. This one's also pretty good. This one's like in a pose one. The Casino Toad, I believe, is like this tall too. Here's its keychain and all its glory. I'm gonna be hanging all of these as well. Not that way, but yeah. And here's the SK Japan Baby Mario. This one's also pretty nice. These are pretty tiny, but like I said, these were keychains and I got them because of Spike Top and the Star and the Mushroom and some of these other ones too. Because this was a pretty good deal instead of like getting them for $50. These are pretty rare and vintage. You can see, here's a look at the back of the tag. <coughs> And here's one look at the haul, and I really enjoy these. So now let's get into a long, long time about comparisons, because there's a lot to compare. <laughs> okay, so let's start off with a round look at the mu Mega Mushroom. As I said, this one's fairly good. Really good size for a Mega Mushroom. And like I said, I hate to break it, but this one's a bootleg, because you can see here that the fair little difference in here, this one's like much better. And this one, I can actually tell that it's bootleg, because I like see the differences. And of course, the mini tush tag on this one. 
and I don't think I showed the back. That one here you can see, and then this one's like 10 times bigger, you can see. So you can like pretty much see the difference. And I don't see a single hole for this, like where a string could be. So I'm pretty sure this one is not with a string. It's not supposed to be with a string. And this one's a bootleg with a string trying to be real, but we got fooled for the longest time. We thought this was real, but I knew it was a bootleg all along because I was like, I don't think we would ever get a rare plush like that easily. So here is the real one in all its glory. So now let's compare the infamous Mario Kart Wii Star Plush. So here is a bad Presto Mario Kart Wii Star Plush. This one is really, really nice. I love its like metallic fur. It's like velvety soft. And you can see the eyes here. They are really, really nice. This one's a cute, cute keychain. I like this one a lot. And you can see it's a bad Presto Tush Tank 2009. That's how we found out it was Mario Kart. Because Mario Kart 8, I mean Mario Kart Wii, I think came out like in 2008 or something like that volume two so yeah this is the volume two set of the mario kart we one as it says there and here it is and then let's compare it with the star all star star you can see the the huge difference of course because it's really huge this one it has beans in it <coughs> pretty nice but this one's like more fitting because this one's like the size of like mario or not the size of mario but this is like the size it's supposed to be compared to the mario plushes so this one's a pretty neat size i'm so glad i've seen listings for this and they go like for a lot because the mario kart wii set is pretty rare so i've seen like listings in like 50 dollars so this one's a pretty good deal for only 10 dollars in a lot of other plushes so you can see i like this one better it's more shape of a star this one's of course they're both accurate so i recommend both of these plushes if you can get your hands on this without paying a steep price so now let's compare the mini the oh, red mushroom the super mushroom so here it is it's tag it says 2006 uh Here's its basic information. And here it is, plastic and plastic eyes. This one's pretty nice too. Again, perfect size for Mario. I like how it has like a beaded keychain on it. And here it is, we covered these in the plush set. And here it is, one last look. Here is the mushroom. This one is fairly nice. And here's the mushroom itself. So you can see this is the all-star mushroom and the normal one. You can see they're both really good. They're both the same size. They're not the same size, but like both the, and they both look the same. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Soft and it's kind of scratchy material, but it's still pretty nice. I love this one a lot too. So now let's move on to the Mario. I'm not sure which Mario this one is, but it looks like he is waving. I'm pretty sure he is waving on this one. So you can see the uh, look at the Tush Tank 2007. This one says, it has like a metallic shiny fabric there. This one's a pretty tiny, tiny Mario plush. These ones are keychains, of course. And let's compare it to the Bad Presto Shell Mario. The Shell Mario is actually pretty big. This one's like a tiny, tiny keychain. And here is a Mario himself. You can see the difference here. The face kind of looks the same. This one's more plastic look. And here is the back of it again. The feet is pretty detailed. The face is absolutely amazing too. The hair is pretty much detailed as well, and here is his hat with the M plastered on with like some weird material. I don't know what it's called again. I forgot what it's called, but it's like called plastic. So now here is the Bad Presto Gumba, Goomba keychain. Everybody calls him Gumba a lot. And um, here you can see the comparison with the uh, Goomba. This one, you can see the big, big difference here because the shape of this one, of course, because it's like a keychain. Let's get a look at the Tush Tag 2007, and it's a part of the DS, I believe so, yeah, because we covered it in the discussion, if you guys want to check that out. You can see the face difference too, everything's on this one's plastic, because they can't like do this on a tiny, tiny thing, but here you go, the, the face, the teeth are pretty good, these are kind of yellowed out a little. I, oh yeah, when I talk, when I see it like in the lighting, it's pretty much white, but I think it's because of like the material that they use. And you can see the eyes as well. They're pretty much the same as these ones, same detail and everything. This is a pretty good Goomba. We could use this like a Goomba baby. That would be kind of funny <coughs> to be in the video. So now let's get the big, the biggest ones, which are the SK Japan, Baby Luigi, and Baby Mario. These ones are almost my favorite because this is like a different brand. I've, 
I've heard of them a lot, like starting my pl rare plush collecting, and they're pretty nice. I like the SK Japan ones, and I'm at, as of recording this video, the baby Luigi with the diaper, the huge one that's bigger than these guys, is on the way. And I'm very excited to get those ones as well. And you can see the comparison with baby Luigi. The face is really, really different. These are based off of Yoshi's Island. The Yoshi's Island game, I believe, like in the early 2000s, whichever one that one came out in. And here's the tag in all its glory. 2007, made in Japan, skjapan.co.jp, real brand. I don't know if they're still in production or not. But you can see the baby Mario detail. This is a really different detail. And the main thing is that they, they stand. These ones are standing ones. And this is pretty cool because you've never really seen baby Mario and baby Luigi stand. But maybe in that game they do because me and Mr. McCormick have never played that game before. Well, that one specifically, so we are not sure. But you can see here, the detail on them is pretty amazing. These ones are like very, very accurate baby bros. I really like them. And they're also nice too. They could be like perfect babies as well. Overall, are pretty nice. So last but not least, my, pro my most favorite one probably is a spike top keychain. So here is a spike top keychain. You can see this is basically like um, Buzzy Beetle, but like spike red and with a spike. I really like this one. The detail on him is really amazing. He even has his scaly stomach pattern and his mouth is really mad looking as well. I really like like the weird material they used on it. Hard to explain. And then they have the spike. What a nice, amazing idea. They had the um, hanger on his spike. So you can hang it like this, and he is overall pretty nice. Did not get these tag, but it's still pretty awesome to have. Because somebody is selling this for almost, probably like $35 total. And it's all dirty and messed up on eBay. So who would want a keychain this tiny for $35? So that's why I got lucky and got them for $14. So you can see here, comparison with Buzzy Beetle. You can see the pretty much the same thing, but this one's shrunken. And you can see they still have the tidy. Oh yeah, he has the tidy tail too. And you can see the touch tag is in the same placement. And you can also see the face is pretty much the same. This one's more mad. And this one's like a weird look. <laughs> and you can see the eyes too. The eyes are the ones that are different. The eyes are over here. And the eyes are getting covered by this shell over here of the buzzy beetle. You can see the color pattern too. It's still the same like cross stitching there so that's pretty nice that they did that it's pretty much the same thing i would like to use this one in a video like let me use a spike top maybe or something like that but you can see pretty much the same thing but just a red buzzy beetle but a red yeah a red buzzy beetle so thank you guys so much and I'll, in the next um section of this i'm gonna show off of my bad press ones real quick before we slide off so tada this is all my bam presto plush set so uh, you can see it grew a lot a lot from the fake mega mushroom and from these three because i got the bam presto goombas and the mushroom i still need the red one and then the mario hat one and i have the bam presto berto and yoshi and toad and you can see over here we have the real mega mushroom and then the mario the Goomba, the Keychain, Super Mushroom, the Spike Top, and the Mario Kart Wii Star, and the Shell, DS Shell Mario. So the majority I have are mostly Bad Presto DS plushes, but all of them are also Mario 64 and the Mario All-Stars game. So you can see this is all of them. I guess I'll include the SK Japan ones here just to show like a full haul of some vintage, vintage 90s, early 2000s plushes I have. So yeah, this wraps it up. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs ups and then enjoy all our other videos that we have for you guys. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you stay tuned for our future unboxings because we, of course we have more unboxings and plush videos on the way. So stay tuned for that and we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Thank you.